Hi, welcome to It's Your Business. I'm Alan Gwynn. Have you ever done things in business that you wondered, gee, why did I do that? Let's talk about that in just a moment. Hi everyone, welcome to It's Your Business. I'm Alan Gwynn with today's business ideas and tips for business improvement and customer understanding. I can't tell you how often in business I find business owners mistake action for success. We do something because it makes us feel better about not doing what we should be doing. And so we don't do what we should be doing because we've placated ourselves. Let's talk about that for a few moments. Many of you know that I'm a real believer in planning. Why? I've worked with businesses all over the world, in large businesses, in corporations, in small businesses, in one-person businesses, in businesses for profit or not for profit, and I can tell you I've worked with owners and managers and employees and I've watched how they respond to challenges that they face. From experience, or as often is often said anecdotally, if you plan your actions you have less opportunity to fail. If you don't plan your actions you simply go with the flow and you need to make your decisions and act on issues confronting you based only upon the facts you're faced with at that time. You know, I've met and talked to men and women who wanted to start their own business, but they didn't really understand what running a business is all about. I told the story about a year ago here, and I had shared it with a radio audience some time ago about the girl in Massachusetts who thought that her mom made the best pasta sauce in the world, and if she could only make large batches and bottle it, she'd be able to sell it in grocery stores. She saw herself as the the next great business entrepreneur and envisioned herself as the next Ray Kroc of McDonald's or the next Donald Trump based on the taste of her mom's pasta sauce. Now, I wouldn't make any negative comments about the sauce. I'm sure it was great. But charging forward to create your fortune based on a pasta sauce recipe? I don't think so. Can this young lady succeed? Possibly. Do I think she would? No, nah, not really. You may be asking, why would she not succeed if she had the best pasta sauce in the world? There are about a million reasons. Lack of professional production facilities, lack of a coherent marketing or operations plan, lacking a name for the sauce or any type of branding statement. She didn't know how to package it. She didn't know how to purchase ingredients in bulk. She hadn't checked on state law regulating food production. She didn't know how to construct a kitchen where she could meet a need for multiple productions at once. She'd never made the sauce for more than about 25 people. On the old I Love Lucy show, you may remember the show where Lucy and Ethel tried to make Lucy's salad dressing into a company, but met with predictable results. They even got on a TV show. They highlighted what they had available, and they received literally mail bags of orders. The issue with all this was that they hadn't figured out whether they made or lost money on each quart that they sold. And so it is often with business owners. They do something thinking that something, anything, is better than nothing when they should probably do nothing because they haven't a clue whether that's what to do is right or what to do is not right. If you're in retail, holidays are going to be shortly upon you. What have you done to prepare for what's most likely going to be your busiest holiday time of the year? Many retailers make their profit for the entire year between the day after Thanksgiving and New Year's Eve. If that's the case in your business, wouldn't you begin to prepare several weeks ahead of time to take advantage of that onslaught of business? We're several weeks ahead of time. It's time to get ready. Here are some steps to consider. Be sure any equipment that you need has been serviced and if necessary have a backup for any essential equipment that's required for your business. 
Be sure that you've identified the employees that you will need to satisfy your guests or clients, or that you know where those employees are going to come from. Have they been trained so that they're not going to bog down your operation as opposed to simply being thrown into the mix? Learning on the job's not great. Now let's think about you. Are you mentally ready for a phenomenally large increase in business in a short period of time? What have you done to ready yourself and your business? Or have you done many things, all of which are important and might be key to a successful business? but are really not essential to what you should have done. Today, start thinking about those items which must be accomplished as opposed to those which you wish would be accomplished. And make your business more stable, more secure, and more focused on the needs of your customers, clients, or patients. That's our tip for today. Follow it and you will be more successful. If you'd like a copy of today's comments, feel free to call or text me at 800-335-9269 or email me at agwin at thegwinconsultancygroup.com. I will be happy to send along a copy of today's comments for your use. I'm Alan Gwynn. I'll see you next time on It's Your Business.